it's equally as important that we embrace our divinity as it is we embrace our humanity. One is not more um, important than the other. I teach holistic wealth as a means to achieve divine and human potential simultaneously. So I truly, truly believe that we are all divine, immortal beings living a human experience. We chose to come here and incarnate on this planet at this time to have this 3D experience, but we are immortal beings in nature. So we're immortal beings having a human experience. And it's equally as important that we embrace our divinity as it is we embrace our humanity. One is not more um, important than the other. Like we achieve holistic wealth by simultaneously um, working on bringing those two aspects of ourself into balance. So that's, all, that's what I do, right? Like day to day I wake up and, and whatever it is that I'm doing, it, it centers around holistic wealth. So to me, the word wealthy actually comes from two words, well and healthy. So to be wealthy literally means to be well and healthy in all areas of your life. And so that's why I teach holistic wealth. I'm not interested in just teaching you how to build your bank balance because you can build your bank balance, but if your relationships are not in alignment, if your you know, if you're unhappy, if you're unable to create joy in your life, if your, you know, friendships are, are lacking and you're not feeling like, you know, you have amazing support in, in the people in your life that are showing up and supporting you. If you're not living your purpose, you're not doing your purpose work, that financial balance very quickly diminishes um, or the opposite thing happens and people continue to grow and acquire and accumulate wealth. But as they grow and acquire and accumulate wealth, if they're not in alignment in the other areas of their lives, they become miserable.